Today we will be learning about the distance formula. Now, distance formula is a very important formula that in algebra, and it um, tells you how to find the distance between two points on a coordinate plane. So let me draw a coordinate plane here. This is 1, 2, 3. This is the x-axis. That's the y-axis. 1, 2, negative 1, negative 2, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Okay, so if, for example, if I had two points right here and right here, the distance between those two points is very easy to find. You can just go like this. A 1, 2, 3. Four. Oh, you went four times, so the distance should be four. Okay, so that's easy to find. But if you get something like this, how do you find the distance between these two points? This is something a little bit harder to do uh, <clears throat> because you can't really estimate uh, by counting uh, towards that point. And uh, you'll need to realize that by the distance we're talking about here, we actually mean the shortest distance. The word shortest is missing. So remember, for shortest distance, it's a straight line. So when we say the distance between these two red points, we could do like go this way like this, go four times this way, and then three times up this way to get to that point. But that is not the shortest distance. We want to find the shortest distance between these two points. And the way you can find the shortest distance is by using the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem. And in case you forgot, that's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And I actually drew a right triangle here. And you can actually do this between any two points. If you have two points and you have to, you're, you're trying to find the length or the distance between those two points, you can always draw a right triangle like this. So the red part is what we're trying to find. The blue part here is what I'm drawing to help us find that red part. And notice that we have a uh, right triangle here. So if we know how long uh, this part is and how long this part is, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find how long the red part is. Oops. All right, how long this is. Well, what is this, this length right here? Well, we went one, two, three, four, four times that way. So that, that has to be four. And we went three up, so that has to be three. So we have a right angle or a right triangle where this part is four and that part is three. The two legs are four and three. So, so using the Pythagorean theorem, we do four squared plus three squared equals C squared or C squared equals 25. So therefore, C has to be 5, right? Square root, square root both sides. So this length here, the distance between these, these two points are, um, it, or is 5. Okay, so that you can use the Pythagorean theorem to find a distance like this. Now let's try another problem here. And this time, oops, this time, instead of drawing the points, I'm just going to tell you the coordinates of the two points. So what is the distance? What is the distance between uh, 1, 2, and negative 3, negative 1? What's the distance between those two points? So the first thing you should do 
is to plot that point and visualize what we're dealing with here. So one, two, let me actually write the coordinates here. Two, negative three, negative four, negative two, negative three. One, two, one, two. We go one towards the x direction and then two towards the y direction. So it's right here. Negative three, negative one. One, two, three towards the x direction and negative one is y two, right here. So we're looking at the distance between these two points. Oops. Oops. All right, we're looking at the distance between these two points. This right here is 1, 2. This right here is negative 3, negative 1. And we want to find that distance. Okay, so again, to find that distance, we'll need to draw a right triangle. And you'll notice that we can draw a right triangle like this. Once we draw a right triangle like that, we'll need to find the measurements of each of these sides here, each of these sides. And to get this length, to get this length right here, uh, this is how far it moved in the x direction, right? This is the x direction going horizontally. This is how much it moved in the x direction. So if you look at the point, it went from negative 3, the x direction is from negative 3 until 1. This is 1. So how far did it go from negative 3 until 1? And here is where you do um, subtraction, right? To get the difference between two numbers, you subtract one from the other, right? So you can do 1 minus negative 3. You're doing this point minus that point, the x ones. That's going to be 4. So that means that's going to be 4 right here. This was the x part. For the y part, um, this is at 2, right? The y, y part, or let me actually use a different color so that I don't confuse. Let me use yellow for the y part. This is at 2 up and I went down until this part the y part for this one is negative one right it's, it should be the same as that point there so the y part is negative one I went from two down to negative one it's the y part in yellow two minus a negative one and that's going to be three right whenever you have double negatives you change them both to pluses so this length right here is going to be 3. So again, we have a 4 and a 3, same as last time. So uh, that's going to be 5. Okay, but you get, you get the general method. To get how much we moved in the x direction, the horizontal side, you do the x, first x minus the second x. To get how much you moved in the y direction, you do the first y minus the second y. Okay, so now this gives us the general formula, and this is called the distance formula. So let's generalize this between any two points instead of using specific points here. So if I have a point x1 and y1, and x2 and y2, I'm using variables here to generalize, then to get the uh, distance between these two points, how far are these two points apart? Uh, you'll have to find this distance, right? That distance was the difference of their x components, right? So that was x2 minus x1. I might need more space, so I'll write it down here. x2 minus x1. This gave you this part here gave you this length here. 
x2 minus x1 to get the the height right here you did the y minus y so y2 minus y1 and this gave you the the height of the right triangle and that has to equal the hypotenuse right um, what do we do here so th this is the same thing as a this is the same thing as b right that's a and that's b so a squared plus b squared equals c squared so we're squaring this plus squaring that and that has to equal the square of the hypotenuse the answer we're looking for which is the distance squared right this part is the distance a squared plus b squared equals c squared and we get this formula right here so to get the distance in other words just to have d instead of d squared on this side we just square root both sides so we're going to get square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared and this is actually what's called the distance formula it looks very complicated but it's actually just the pythagorean theorem all right you can you can use so this is the distance formula but you can actually use this formula if, if that looks simpler you can use that formula just remember to square root at the end and that's just the pythagorean theorem you're finding the a and the b a squared plus b squared equals c squared all right so just remember that to find the a you have to find the difference between the two x's to find the b you have to find the difference between the two y's so let's try and find a uh, distance between two points using this formula this time so let's say i'm trying to find the distance between seven five and one negative three I want to find the distance between those two points. And if you want to visualize this, I'll draw a really small version of the Cartesian plane here. 7, 5 is going to be like 7, 7, and then 5 over around there. And then 1, negative 3, it's going to 1, negative 3 is going to be around here. Right? And we're trying to, we're trying to find that distance. And we'll need these two lengths here. And remember, to get these two lengths, to get the the red length here or i'll have to use the purple to get the purple length here you you just do the difference between the two x's to get the oops to get the blue length here you just do the difference between the two y's right that's what we're doing that's what we're doing here so the purple length is going to be seven minus one right we're using that formula right there so x2 oh let me actually label these so that I, I don't confuse you. So you can put, say one's x1 and y, one the other is x2 and y2. So to get the formula, you get 1 minus 7, and then square that, right? Plus um, y2 minus y1, negative 3 minus 5, then square that. Then we'll have to take the square root of the whole thing to get distance. And that actually equals square root of the whole thing. 1 minus 7 is negative 6. Squared is 36. Negative 3 minus 5 is negative 8. Squared that is 64. So here we get square root of 100, which actually equals 10. Okay, so we can see that this part actually equals 6, and this part actually equals 8. So the distance between the two actually equals 10. So you can use the formula, but I encourage you to know how the formula was derived. I think uh, recognizing how the formula was derived is easier to understand than the formula itself. This actually looks kind of complicated, but it's not that complicated. It's actually just the Pythagorean theorem. So once you just find the two sides, you can square those and then add them and then take the square root to get the distance.